Hello, this is Sam from valuetechacademy.com. In this video, I will show you scenarios where you will use alias in SQL. In this video, we will be using Azure Data Studio and the AdventureWorks sample database. If you like to get Azure Data Studio and the AdventureWorks sample database, please check our other video. I have provided you the link to that video below. Let us see the use of alias with the help of two requirements. The first requirement is we need to display the location in the format state and country code that is state Alaska and followed by the country code US. So to display the location in this format we first need to find the location information. So to get the location information we just need to go to the AdventureWorks sample database and go to tables. Just scroll down and here the table person dot state province. So this is the table from where we are going to get the location information. So let us just query this table to see the details within this table. It's going to be person dot state province. It has all the location information. So we can see many columns within this table. So let me go back to the requirement. We need to display the state and comma and then the country code. So we just need the two columns. So this is the second column we need. So we can rewrite this query just using those two columns. The first column is going to be the name. The second is going to be the country region code. So let me rewrite this query. The first column, the second column is going to be country region code. And you can see the name and the country region code. So for Alaska, you can see the country US. So if we go to the requirement, we need to display the location in this format that is the state Alaska comma the country US. So we need to like uh, concatenate both that is we have to join both state and country code together with a comma. So I'll show you how we can do this. So just use two plus some symbols between these columns. And now when you execute you can see the uh, two information got concatenated that is like uh, they are joined with a comma. So this is what we are required to do as per the requirement. So we got the state and the country names. But if you see the column name, there is no column name here, the result set. So in SQL, so there should be uh, column names for the results. So if there is no uh, column name, we can provide a column name. So this is the this is one scenario where the alias can be useful. You can see the location information which is an alias which I provided now so it can be provided using the keyword as so let's see the second requirement now to see this next scenario where this alias can be useful we need to list the product names and the product quantity in stock for each product so that is we need to find the product names first then the product quantity for each products so we need two information now. So one is the product name. So to get the product name, you need to go to a table. Just scroll down. Production dot product. This is a table from where we can get the first information. That is the product names. The second information product quantity. This can be obtained from second table. Production dot product inventory. So let us just uh, query these two tables to see what information they have within them. The first table I'm going to query is production dot product. And you can see the product ID and the product name. So this is the column we are looking for. 
as per our re second requirement and let me uh, query the second table to see the information within that table so the second table is going to be production dot product inventory So you can see product ID and the quantity information, but we don't have the product name. So just these two information we have. The product name we can get only from the production dot product table. So if I execute both these tables together, you can see the product ID and the name column from the first table, and product ID and quantity information from the second table. But we need only the name from the first table. And the quantity from the second table. If you see the requirement, we need to list the product names and the product quantity. So the product name can be got from the first table, and the quantity column can be got from the second table. So the only matching column between both the tables is going to be product ID. So I'll show you how we can join both these tables using the common column product ID, and we can meet the requirement that is listing the product name. And the quantity for each product. So now let me join both these tables. But before joining, let me first rewrite this query with only the required columns. So if you see the production dot product table, I'm just copying the product uh, table name. So we just need only two columns from this table, production dot product, and likewise, if we see the production dot product inventory. We need only two columns, that is product ID and quantity, because like uh, product ID is going to be the common uh, column between these two tables, and name and quantity are the other two details we need from these two tables. So we are just like uh, including only the columns we need. So let me execute this one. You can see the product ID and name. Only the required information got displayed now. And likewise, if you see the production dot product inventory, we got only these required two columns: product ID and quantity. So let me j uh, join both these tables now. So let let me. Copy this. Production and the production uh, dot product table. And I'm, now I'm going to join with the second table. Production dot product inventory. So this is going to be the first table, and we are just going to reference the columns from where they are taken. So if you see the product ID, it is taken from the first table production dot product. So we are just like referencing the product table names there. So next, like we need to get two columns from product inventory. So we are including the two other columns which we are getting from product inventory. So first column is product ID. The second column we are going to get is quantity from the product inventory. So we are just like referencing the uh, table name. So it's going to be production dot product inventory dot quantity. So it means like we are taking the quantity column from this table, product inventory. So now we are doing an inner join. And to join both these tables, we have to do do a join based on the column common columns between these two tables. So if you see the two tables, product ID in product table, and the product ID in product inventory is going to be the common table. So we are going to join these two tables using the common column product ID. So we can execute this one, and now you can see the uh, name. And the quantity got displayed as per the requirement. You can see the product names and the product quantity in stock for each product now. 
but you can see the product ID from two different tables. One is the product table and the other is from product product inventory. So the other one from the product inventory. So if you see in any output, there should be no columns with the same names. So if there are same uh, columns being displayed, we need to like uh, change them using a alias. So this is another scenario where we will be using alias to avoid duplicate column names in the output. So here I am giving the alias name as inventory product ID. So this differentiates the product ID. So when we see the output, the column names will be different now. If you see, you can see the product ID. It is from the first table product. And if you see the second uh, pro uh, column inventory product ID, it is from the second table. So now you can see the two columns like with two different names. So this this is one scenario where we can use the alias. And if you see the query, it is kind of complicated like uh, to read. So we can uh, rewrite this query in a simple way. And again here we can use the concept of alias. So let me break this query down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a name from the name for the uh, tables. So if you see the production dot product, it is like a, it's a lengthy name. So I'm just going to give an alias for this table name as A. So that like I'm going to ref, uh, replace places wherever we have production dot product, I'm going to replace it with the name A. It is an alias A. So if you see, I'm just replacing it with A. And if you see for the second table, production dot product inventory i'm giving a alias b so i'm going to replace the uh, names wherever we had the production dot product inventory with the alias b likewise on the on on joining condition we are going to replace it with a for production dot product And we are going to replace the production dot product inventory with B. So if we execute this one, there won't be any change in the output. But you can see the uh, query. So you can see there's no difference in the output. But if you go back to the query, you can see how easily it can be read, and it's easy to understand. So this is another uh, way for using the alias. So where you can like a uh, uh, program. SQL in a better way. So when you name a uh, table using alias, you can do it without the keyword as. So it doesn't matter now. You can see now. So I just mentioned the keyword as and without as also, it's not going to make any difference. If you name a product uh, table or product inventory without the as as keyword. So I hope uh, you understood the scenarios where you can use alias in SQL. So if you like to uh, learn more using scenarios, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like to learn uh, any specific concept in SQL, please leave a comment below so that like we can prepare more videos every week on those concepts. Thank you.